Hey, what's up? John Sonmez from simpleprogrammer.com. So I just finished a run here. Finally got to Pacific Beach. Finally moved into my house, got my stuff, and I'm officially a California resident. Got my driver's license and everything. So I actually wanted to address some comments or some complaints about uh, a video I did about avoiding conflict or not avoiding conflict. You can check out that video here. And this video got some interesting responses. A lot of people said, hey John, basically two, two equivalent things, which are essentially, that was a stupid risk. Uh, you know, you going over there and asking someone to turn the music down as a bad example. You should avoid conflict, should not avoid conflict, but that's a bad example because something bad could have happened to you. What if they had a knife? What if they had a gun? Or something equivalent of, what if you're in a bad neighborhood and, you know, or what if you didn't, weren't a bodybuilder or didn't lift weights, right? Uh, you know, any kind of bad outcome could have happened. So you should just call the cops and not try to prove anything there. So a couple of things here. First of all, the issue is not trying to prove anything. You shouldn't be trying to, if you're trying to prove something, that's going to come across and it's not a good idea anyway, right? You don't want to be trying to prove something. Uh, and that's not what it's about, right? Not avoiding conflict is never about trying to prove that you're tough or that you're the man or whatever it is. It's all about just recognizing that you have to confront certain situations in life. I'm not going to rehash the whole avoiding conflict thing, but I want to address that and then I want to address the safety issue. Now, I'm not saying to do foolish stuff, right? There was a, a definitely a context there. One person said, hey, you lived in an, an upper class neighborhood. You're a pretty big guy, you know, and uh, but so you know that's okay in that situation perhaps ask the, the the neighbor to turn the noise down but if you're in the ghetto if you're in a low-income neighborhood uh, and you went over and did that you could get shot or killed or or whatever i see the point there and i think it does depend on context right i mean for example i, I live in i'm just moved to pacific beach right and i live right next to a street garnett street where there's a bunch of partying and bars and about, you know, 1, 2 a.m. in the morning on weekends, there's a lot of noise. There's people walking through the alleys. I'm not going to jump out of my bed every time, go downstairs, and yell at people that are drunk because they're coming back from bars making noise. It's expected in that area, right? In an upper class neighborhood where there's families and it's quiet, it's not expected. So context does matter. But again, I'm not not afraid. See, that's the other thing to address, I think, here is, and that's what I really want to get to this point is, what the hell are you afraid of? So, maybe maybe you're going to get stabbed or shot or someone's going to hold a gun to your head, and you're not going to act stupid. I mean, obviously, if someone pulls a gun on me and I don't have a gun, I'm going to I'm gonna do what they say. I'm not going to, you know, I'm not going to be stupid, but at the same time, I'm not going to be afraid of that. And you know what? If I die, I die. I mean... That's just how it is, right? Uh, you, you can live your life in fear and with a false sense of safety. I did a video here on the only security you have is your inner security. You know, you can, you can believe the false sense of security that a lot of us believe or safety, but you're not safe. You, anyone could come in your house and, I mean, a, a meteor could fall out of the sky and kill you while you're sleeping. You could, you could be driving your car and a drunk person could cross the line and over, over the barrier and come right at you and you got nothing you can do. And you, I mean, there's a lot of ways that you could die, but all I'm saying is don't live your life in fear. I'm not afraid of being stabbed or shot. If it happens, it happens. I'm not going to, I'm not going to avoid that. You know what I mean? I'm not going to do stupid things. I'm not going to go into a bad neighborhood and start yelling at people. That'd be stupid, right? I'm not going to do that. But at the same time, if I need to confront someone, I'm not going to say, oh, I'm not going to confront this person because they're super, uh, you know, they might pull a knife on me. I'm still going to confront them. I'm still going to address that. I'm not going to shy away from it. And you shouldn't. You shouldn't be afraid. You know, you can live your life being afraid of everything and, and thinking that you have safety but you're not you're not gonna have safety so anyway that's that's my response honestly like you can say yeah that was foolish or yeah what if something bad happened what if so what I'm ready uh, <laughs> I'm ready to live as much as I'm ready to die and you if you really want to truly live you've got to embrace that and you know that's something that I struggle with and I've come to that realization that you know I've, I've done some videos on overcoming fear you can check that out uh, I believe I did a video on 
on, uh, on, on you know, the purpose of life or why I'm happy. Actually, scratch that one. I don't, I don't, that one's not as related. But anyway, the point is that you, you can't be afraid to die. If you, otherwise, you're going to be afraid to live. And that's, that's the truth of the situation. You just have to embrace death. Uh, the Stoics practice that. If you read Seneca's uh, moral letters to Lucius, or to, I always say Lucius, it's uh, Lu Lucius. Anyway, if you read that, I recommend that, definitely. Uh, I've got it in the, the top 10 books. You can check that video out, and, uh, and, and you, can, you can find it there as well. But, you know, the Stoics believe that. Seneca, when he, uh, when he died, he died by, he, he could have been free if you, if you read his story, but he chose to go ahead and drink the poison. Or actually, sorry, I'm confusing him with uh, uh, with Socrates. <laughs> uh, but that, that's how Socrates died. Seneca actually uh, ki was ordered to kill himself, and he killed himself in a bathtub uh, because he wasn't afraid to die. And you shouldn't be either. If you live your life that way, uh, you, you'll you'll be a coward. So anyway, that's my response to that. I realize that not everyone's going to agree with it, but you know I've lived my life as a coward. I'm done with that, and it's uh, it's much better when you're when you're not afraid to die. Don't, I'm not saying do something stupid. Don't misinterpret it. But if you're afraid to die, you're not you're going to be afraid to live. So anyway, if you like this video, subscribe to the channel. Talk to you next time. Take care.